Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How's everybody doing? So if you watch my podcast, I had a bunch of running around to do yesterday. And one of the places I stopped was my post office. And I got some beautiful cards. And another thing that I got was a package in the mail. Look at this. Woo! Now, at first I was like, what is that package? What's going on? Then I remembered the secret santa the secret santa for charity that i was uh taking part in uh several of us youtubers were involved in this secret santa for charity event all of us we agreed that we wanted to do it we picked a charity that was near and dear to our heart something that we were very passionate about we spoke about our charities we have a video there is a playlist and you could go see my original video where i talk about um, the American Cancer Society. That's the charity that I feel very strongly about and I gave you guys some information about. Everybody who was participating put up their videos about their charity and all that and then what happened was Reggie took everybody's names, put them in a hat so to speak, whatever, shook it up and she matched us up. Nobody knew who they had. Uh, we got an email that stated, this is, you are the secret Santa for this person. Do not notify them. Just get your secret Santa package together and send it to your, to your recipient. So I had done mine and um, I was waiting to see who got me, who, who was, I was waiting to see who was my secret Santa. So it comes from Kimberly Thompson out of Los Angeles, California. Now, I think, I think, and I could be wrong, I think uh, Miss Kimberly Thompson is with the Crafty Nomad. I'm not sure. So I already sliced this box because it was very heavily taped. And I didn't want to have to go through all that with you guys. But let's open this up and see what's inside. I'm so excited. Oh, no package. Let me see. Oh, no, I feel a card. Let me pull out the card first. So I got a card. Oh, this is so pretty. Yep, Kim the Crafty Nomad on YouTube. I was right, and I have seen some of her videos, and she does a lot of like scrapbooking type things. I'm no good at that, but you know, come on guys, this is a handmade card. Look at the gorgeousness of this card. I love it. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Kimberly. Kim, do you go by Kim? Thank you so much, Kim. I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is so neat. I love it. I've never gotten a handmade card like this. Thank you so much. Let me put it over here for now and I will hang it up. Uh, I hung up the other... Oops. Oh, she wanted to be a booger. So she didn't... She just laid down. That's okay. That's okay. So let's see what my secret Santa got me, shall we? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Stuff is falling out of the box. Let me see. Let me. Oops. Excuse me, guys. Oh, okay. So the this is what fell out of the box. It's a silicone lid, and it has a strawberry top. Look at this cuteness. These, you know what? I love these things. Now, I actually don't have like anything fancy. I am, all right, I'm one of those people that I like my tea very, 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 very hot, very strong and very hot. Um, I have a large teacup and the teacup holds two like regular size like the six ounce coffee mugs, like say you get a set of uh, Corel dishes, it holds two of those six ounce cups in my one big tea mug for the morning. I have two of them. And what I do is I put two tea bags in there and I put my boiling water in 
And I have like a Tupperware cover, just like off of like a Tupper, like a small Tupperware container. And I just plop that on there to keep it nice and hot. So here we go right here. I have a fancy one, not just a Tupperware lid. I have a real one. And then after it's brewed for my extended length of time, I pop that with the tea bags in the microwave for a little over a minute to really get it nice and hot. So I mean, like literally I have to sip it. Plus it warms up my mug even more. And I just, that's the way I love it. And I like to keep the lid on it to kind of keep it a little bit warm because I'm just, I am that person. Super, super scalding hot tea is like my favorite. So thank you. I will be using this. I'll be using this tonight. Yes, this is gonna, I'll give it a wash and I will use it, definitely. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Now, oh, I see yarn. Oh my God, and I'm so excited, but I'm not gonna get to it yet. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. I see. I see a small, well, it's not very small. It's a notions pouch, or it could hold like, I am going to be knitting my first pair of socks. And I do believe I could put my yarn in here and maybe even, even, even my knitting needles in here with my socks. This would be perfect for a thing of socks. What do you think guys? I love this. This is so cute. You see the inside? Cute. Oh, thank you. This is, and it's quilty. It's nice. I like that. It's got, uh, it's not, it's got a quilted feel to it. Feels like a quilted blanket. Like, you know, I know I'm weird. I'm weird. Perfect. Thank you so much. I love this. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. No. I don't know how many times I'm going to say, okay. I don't know what this is. And everything's written in Japanese or Chinese here. Can you see all that I have? Can you see these like pictorials here? All right, let me take it out of this bag. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what this is and what do I do with it? I do not know. Oh, there's, okay. So there's this piece here. So I got two of these and then this little like ringy thing, ringy thing. And, uh, here's the directions. Can you see the directions? There's the directions. If anybody can tell me what this is, I will message Kim and ask her if she knows what this is or what this is for. Because I'm not really, really sure. I'll play with it after a little bit and um, see if I can do some research on it and see what exactly it is. Well, I will say thank you because I'm sure it's got to be something. It's got to be something kind of cool. It seems like. And when I find out, I will show you guys for sure, for sure. You guys know that. Definitely, most definitely. I'm gonna slide this back in the box. So don't lose any pieces. Oh, look it, look it. Oh, and my colors too, thank you. I almost picked up some of this, you know, during the Hobby Lobby clearance. This is the Yarn Bee Pigment and Fiber Quarry Rock. Quarry Rock is what it's called. Um, this is, you can use a 2.75 uh, US2, which I just bought, <laughs> knitting needles, and you can use a 3.5, uh, 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. This is 60% acrylic, 20% wool, and 20% nylon. It's nice. I don't know what I'll make out of this, but I definitely, like, I almost picked up one of these, but I decided not to because I had way too much as it was. And I was like, no, I don't need it. Thank you. So now I have one. I'm excited. I I was really, really, really going to get one of these. And I didn't. I opted not to. So thank you, Kim. I love that. Oh, I have never had ice yarns. I finally have some ice yarns. This is exciting. 
Oh my goodness. I have never, never. Okay. So this is Ice Yarns. This is called Rainbow Gray Brown Purple Navy. It's number 63036. There's the information. It is 100% premium acrylic. You use a four millimeter knitting needle, which is US size six, or a, it's considered a light three, a DK weight. It looks like it's a roving yarn. I don't know what the name of this is because I'm not familiar with ice yarns. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice acrylic. Nice. You know what it reminds me of? Um, unforgettable. And I have some unforgettable, not in this color, but that's what it reminds me of. Unforgettable. It's roving. So even though it's classified as a number three, there will be spots of thinner and thicker, but it shouldn't get much thicker than like maybe a four weight, you know, or a bulky three weight. Actually, it's fairly consistent what I've seen so far, but this is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. It, it, that's what it reminds me of, unforgettable. Let's see, it doesn't tell me, 100 grams or 240 meters, so what, about 255 to 260 yards in that range? Oh, and I have three of them. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much. I've never had ice yarns. Now I have. Now I have ice yarns. Thank you so much. And, oh, let me see. Let me slide this in here. I don't want nothing getting lost. Slide you in there so you don't get lost. I have some cute little... Looks like cute little notions. Let me see what's in here, guys. <gasps> okay. I got a button from, uh, this is Alpaca My Yarn. Awesome. Look at the alpaca. Isn't it adorable? Can you guys see that? Adorable. So cute. I got... A keychain with a star and this is like glittery maybe it's um acrylic I don't want to say acrylic <sighs> what would you call that it's like a an acrylic type mold oh it's so cute I love it it will go on my keychain definitely I key I am a I am a keychain collector. I have keychains from when I was in, well, you know, like when I was up in New Jersey before I went to high school type thing. I still have like my original keychain that says, dang, I'm good, except it says, I'm good. I shouldn't be cursing, I know. I usually don't curse, guys, but. And I still have that keychain. Oh, I see. We have a clasp in here. Nacne Chromo um, 2020. It's a little uh, stitch marker. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect for like doing small things like a pair of socks. Can you guys see that? See, compared to my fingers, my big old fingers in this. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to set that down there. And then this is a cute, like, molded acrylic star. I love it. It's so cute. Stop jiggling now. It just wants to jiggle. A cute little star. Love it. This is so cute. It's like, yeah, it's got to be, like, molded acrylic. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, I can't think of it like a polymer acrylic type thing. That's what I'm thinking these are. Perfect, awesome. I will put them back in here for now until I get everything set up. And some more ice yarns. Ooh, so nice. Let me see. This is it feels like cotton. 
see the colors it's like um green it has greens in it. it has a little bit of lime green foresty green and blues really cool looking colors really neat looking colors i like that let me see what is this so this is 50% wool and 50% acrylic. There is 50 grams, and this is considered a number three. It's a DK, well, of course, it's called wool DK color. And it is recommended three to four millimeter crochet needles, um, three to four millimeter knitting needles. And it doesn't say crochet hook, but I would assume four to five millimeter crochet hook is absolutely perfect for this. It is, you know what? It has a feel of like a cotton. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. When, when I pulled it out, I thought it was a cotton. Honestly, I really did. But it's 50 acrylic, 50, 50 acrylic, 50 wool. So I'll just take out the one. So, but it, here's the, what it's called. Can you see that? by Ice Yarns. And this colors are pretty, really cool. I like this, thank you so much, awesome. So I'll definitely make, um, I don't know out of this. Let me know guys, I have two 50 gram balls. They're 50% wool, 50% acrylic, and they're the really cool blues and greens. And it's shorter, um, shorter type striping. It's not long stripes. And it's not real, real short. It's not gonna be like little like um, splashes of color. It looks like it's gonna have, like maybe it can be used for, like for planned pooling. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. I'm gonna look all this stuff up. I've never had ice yarns. Thank you so much, Kim. I appreciate it, I love it. So you guys, I will leave Kim, the Crafty Nomads, information her YouTube channel link in my description box. And if you guys, go over and check her out and take a look. I know I'm subscribed to her and she does marvelous things with scrapping and scrapbooking and stuff like that. And it's just interesting to me because I'm not good at that kind of stuff, but I watch people who do it and I just kind of fantasize about what my life would be like if I was organized and I did stuff like that. I live vicariously through them. So if you're like me and need to live vicariously or you just need some inspiration about what you wanna do on your next project, Go give Kim a look. Thank you, Kim, so much for this. Thank you, Reggie, for including me in the Secret Santa for charity this year. I appreciate it immensely. I had a wonderful time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative, guys. I love you guys. Talk to you later.